Welcome to a deeper understanding, industry leading training videos from Deep Sea Electronics. My name is Matt and I'm a member of the DSC technical support team. In this training video, we're going to be getting familiar with the Configuration Suite software. This includes reading and writing to modules and updating the modules firmware. Let's get started. Okay, so that's the firmware update complete. Now the module is effectively back to its default configuration state. So if you just click this OK button here. OK, so up on the left hand side here, we have the module configuration file. Now this is a configuration file that was previously opened and read from the controller before we carried out the firmware update. And if we were to read from the controller again, this would show as v6.1. And the configuration file in here would be the default 6.1 configuration file that a module will have left the factory with. However, it's still showing version 5.1, which is the previous file that was in the controller before we did the update. So to clarify, the module is version 6.1 firmware, and this configuration file is configuration file v5.1. So let me show you what happens when you try and write this configuration file back into the controller. We select write to module, write this configuration yes, and then I get a pop-up box and I get two options. Number one, firmware update is available, and number two, convert the configuration file to match the module version may be possible. So what number one means is that this version here does not match this version here. Therefore, do I want to upgrade the firmware so that this matches this? Well, that would mean going backwards on the firmware, so we'd be downgrading the firmware from 6.1 back to 5.1 so we can write the configuration file. So I don't want to do that. Number two is to convert the configuration file to match the module version. So that's the module version or the firmware version, and that's the configuration file version. And it says here, this function is located under the file convert to. So I'm going to show you how that works. So click cancel and click OK. And then we go file, convert to. We're going to go to the 8000 range. And we can see at the top there, we have the 8610 Mark II V6.1. If we just look in previous versions, we can see other versions in here as well. So we're already on V Mark II V6.1. Uh, v5.1 so we can't convert to that but we can convert up and down the versions of firmware so for the purposes of this uh, example I'm going to use version 6.1 so we're going to convert from 5.1 to 6.1 let it do its thing now ideally you want to be trying to keep your module firmware updated as much as possible. But if you do find yourself in a scenario where you have um, a module that's considerably older and you want to update the firmware to a very, very recent version of firmware, I don't really recommend using the convert to feature. What I recommend you do is open up config suite twice and manually copy the settings over because there's so much, so many things change when we update the firmware that it's easy to miss things. So it's actually said here, look, warning, some items may not have been converted correctly. Please check the new configuration carefully. So I always say to customers, just check the menus, check all the basic settings, make sure they're all still correct. And we click OK. And if we look at the configuration file now, it's actually a version 6.1. So the configuration version matches the firmware version. If we now click the right to module icon, Write this configuration, yes. Voila, it's going to write to the controller. And don't forget, once you've done this, save the file. Thanks for watching. I hope you found this video useful. All technical literature is available online at deepseelectronics.com. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel to keep up to date with all the latest videos.